Hello, I'm Christine McLeod. I'm a weaver at Weaver's Cottage in Kilbarkin, a National Trust for Scotland property. What I'm doing now is I'm spinning flax and I'm going to tell you a wee bit about the spinning of flax and how it differs from the spinning of wool. What I've got here is a flax spinning wheel. Now the main difference between a wool wheel and a flax wheel is it has this addition here which is called a distaff and the distaff is on my left. What I'm doing is I'm spinning the flax. The actual spinning is very similar to the film on spinning with wool. The main difference is again you're spinning it in the opposite direction to wool. Now what I have to do before I begin is to wet my hands and it's really best to have a cup of water. Some people have little cups that they hang from the spinning wheel but just cup of water that you can keep your hands wet as you work. Now the reason for that is that the fibre contains a sort of gummy substance and that by wetting it slightly it makes it smoother and stronger. When you're spinning keep your right hand on the yarn and pull gently with the fibres. Now, good, good flax should have a long fibre and with your left hand, you're basically keeping the rest of the fibres in place and through a bit of practice, you get to be able to spin a very fine yarn of thread indeed. Now it's at this point that we could maybe look at the fibre itself, but you're looking at a strip of flax, a strip of flax, and now it's linen yarn. So that's where the flax turns into linen. And that's how to spin flax.